My name is Dr. Danya Prutsi Wanopad, and I am from Nita Business School in Bangkok, Thailand. Today, I would like to present my research on the using of line application among the elderly in Thailand. Let me share the screen with you. The title of the research is Usage Behavior of the Elderly of Line Application in Thailand. And the agenda is as follow. The introduction, uh, the world is going into the aging society nowadays. According to the UN report, uh, the year 2001 to 2100 will be the years of the aging century. It is expected that by the year 2100, the aging population will increase to 3.2 billion. Thailand has already reached the stage of aging society since 2015 and will reach the full aging society in 2025. At present, more and more elderly in Thailand are getting on one of the pop most popular chat or messaging platforms in Thailand. It's called Line application. Uh, next from Japan, which has the highest number of Line users, is Thailand. Thais use Line application as at the second rank in the world. It is also interesting that there are also other messaging applications available to Thai people, but it turned out that LINE has continuously become the most popular messaging platform in Thailand, not only to the elderly, but to Thais as a whole. LINE is considered a closed social network because one can select who they want to add to their friends list and who they want to block. Um, LINE can also be used for other purposes like voice calls, video calls and other applications. Um, the usage of LINE applications in the elderly in Thailand is uh, somewhat worrisome to the society as a whole. Uh, more, more often, the elderly uh, receive fake news that are written in some forms of informative messages and most of the time cited it with some famous people's names to make it more rely look more reliable and recipients believe them. So the elderly are the most likely victims of this fake news and moreover they spread this fake news to their friends and their relatives. So the fake news got very uh, quickly spreading. It could be very demanding for someone to change their beliefs on this fake news despite the fact that they are told the truth. So this research aimed to study the following. The usage behavior of the Thai elderly's online messaging application, the specific attitudes and behaviors that affect the usage of line application, and the specific demographics factors that could affect the use of line application. The literature in this area um, there are quite various literature. The one that are related to our study is the one in 2016 by Vosner, Bobek, Coco, and Krepsik uh, that talks about the attitudes of active older internet users toward online social networking. There is another um, study in 2011 that focused on uh, elderly is older than 65 years old and they found that there are three major factors that can affect the use of the internet, namely social skills, computer skills and personality factors such as attitudes and self-acceptance. It is more likely that the elderly who are more sociable would be using more internet 
and it also found that elderly with open attitudes and high self-acceptance are more likely to use internet than others. The conceptual framework from the literature we have gathered together and um, given that Thailand is a very tightly knitted society, it is obvious that one should study the effects of the word of mouth in the online usage behaviors of the elderly to see if there are any effects in their behaviors. So there are three main major factors, the demographic factors, attitudinal factors, and the word of mouth factors. So this is the proposed conceptual framework. You will see that there are demographic factors, word of mouth effects, self-realization or self-acceptability, uh, and sociability levels. So based on the proposed conceptual framework, the following hypothesis could be derived. The demographic factors should access, should affect the ability to access the internet, should affect the knowledge of using live message, should affect the duration of the use of internet and live application. The self-realization of the elderly capability of using live application should affect the length the length of using live application. The level of sociability should also affect the length of time uh, usage of the line application and the word of mouth should affect the usage of like the Thai elderly. Um, the research utilized both quantitative approach using survey questionnaires and the qualitative approach using post questionnaire random interviews with some of the respondents. Um, the sampling method is random sampling with the pre screening question that the respondents must be older than 60 years old. This study requires 400 respondents to represent the entire population. The response rates for the questionnaires is 86%. After the data collection, data analysis is used using is conducted using SPSS. All the items in the questionnaire pass the threshold value of 0 0.6 of Cronbach's reliability test, and the data were analyzed using chi-square test, t-test, and one-way ANOVA test. What we found is that 80% of the respondents state that they are very familiar with line application and are using it every day. Um, they also look at uh, the, the sending messages to their loved ones. The second most frequent usage is to um, send the not so custom uh, methodology in other countries is the maybe specifically to Thai cultures. They send the good morning messages. It should it could come in the forms of photos with greetings or blessings to the one that they love or they care about uh, every single morning. Uh, from the statistical analysis, the researcher tested the proposed hypothesis. For hypothesis one, it found that um, some demographic factors affect the ability to access the internet. Gender education level affect the access. On the other hand, income level and age do not have any impacts on accessing the internet. For hypothesis two, it is found that all demographic factors, age, gender, education level, income level, affects the knowledge of the content of the line message. That means that different groups of elderly with different demographic backgrounds understand the line message they receive differently. 
In the post questionnaire interviews, it is found that those with higher education level and younger than others tend to think and consider the messages they receive before they pass the information or forward the messages to others. For hypothesis three, it is found that the elderly's demographic factors, all of them except the income level, do not have impacts on the duration of use of internet and line application. This means that line application has become part of everyday life. And for hypothesis four, it is found that the self-realization of the elderly's capability of using line application positively affect the length of using line application. So the more they know about line, the more they use line application. For hypothesis five, the level of sociability also has statistical significant effects on the length of time the elderly's usage of line application. This finding discloses the fact that the more sociable the elderly, the longer they will use the line application. For hypothesis six, the issue of word of mouth was tested. The questionnaire items tested the ability of the elderly on how confident they are of the information they received by asking them to rate the level of likelihood that they would forward the line messages they received from different circles of people. It is found that in case of news or messages about health and self-care, if the elderly received them, they would likely to forward them anyway, uh, no matter how, uh, how true it is. Uh, they said it's better be safe than sorry. And uh, this issue is particularly true among the elderly themselves because, uh, uh, and it's very important to Thailand because it is a very easy way to spread the fake news very fast. So the conclusion is this study has successfully achieved its research objectives by studying and exploring the Thai elderly's usage of line application. It found that demographic factors have effects on the ability to access the internet, the time of usage and the knowledge of line messages that the recipients understand. It also found that the self-realization and the level of sociability of the elderly these also affect the length of using the line application. Finally, it found that the word of mouth effects exist in the line use of line application among the Thai elderly. Finally, it iterates the importance of the findings that the Thai society should be aware of fake news that could be spread very quickly and widely among the Thai elderly. So that is pretty much uh, the research that I have done for this conference. If you have further questions, please do not hesitate to contact me through the address in the first slide. Thank you very much.